federal government has been advised to implement promises made during this year's celebration of World Teachers' Day. Although President Muhammadu Buhari did not disclose the date for implementation, the teachers are calling for a speedy process. Helen Osamide Akins reports. Nigerian teachers are one of the least paid in the world. An NC holder on grade level 7 in public schools earns about 40,000 naira, while a university degree holder earns about 50,000 naira. Some state governments are yet to implement the 30,000 naira minimum wage, several months after its pronouncement by the federal government. The profession is no longer lucrative to the young generation like it used to be in 1960s. Some teachers even have to work in very unconducive environments. Teachers have not been given a rightful status they ought to be given. The status that is commensurate to the service they deliver in advancement of education and to the development of society, teachers have not actually been given that status. And uh, that has been a very big problem to us. The 2020 World Teachers' Day celebration is a day that will be remembered by the Nigerian teachers. Pronouncements were made by the federal government at the commemoration of the day, which, if implemented, will turn around the fortunes of Nigerian teachers. This administration has approved the following incentives. The approval of a special salary scale and new retirement age for teachers in basic and secondary schools across the country is significant. Other packages to boost the morales of teachers include reintroduction of bursary awards to education students in universities and colleges of education, pay stipends to Bachelor of Education students, granting education graduates automatic employment after graduation. The pronouncement has generated a lot of reactions from stakeholders in the education sector. Why some think the pronouncements can be achieved, others think they are not realistic, as this is not the first time governments will make pronouncements they are not prepared to keep. They did not come out with these pronouncements under the rest. Teachers are not on strike. And so we feel that uh, what is being said is actually a decision, that policy decision that has been taken by the government. Yeah, I don't see it as doable. Because before this pronouncement, there should be steps, meetings with state governors, meetings with heads of parastatals, what is the data available on ground on teachers, how can this be implemented, from which funding, how is the funding? Because you need to have a policy and you need to have a structure. Tijani Ali Danjuma, a graduate of the Amedubelo University, is a secondary school teacher. He has taught for 18 years and still has over 10 years in service. His only regret as a teacher is the poor salary scale. I've seen students over the years, I've seen them graduate, I've seen them get jobs, and you, you are like stuck in one place. And it's just because of the disparities of salaries paid to some people, the allowances paid, but for teachers it's not like that. We don't have such luxuries around us. So it's painful because we go to the same markets, we buy the same things, and um, we don't give spiritual money. You don't go to the market and say, I'm a teacher. So take this um, teacher um, currency, no. Even if the federal government goes ahead to implement these promises for teachers in each jurisdiction, how ready are the state governments to comply with these directives? Many Nigerians have complained about the deteriorating state of the Nigerian academic system. But it is believed that with such promises of a new remunerations for teachers will go a long way to restore the past glory of the Nigerian teaching profession. Helen Osamada Akins, TVC News, Abuja.